and let me tell you do not use windows assistant tool to upgrade to windows 11 so it's been a two month microsoft launched windows 11 update but you guys are still not getting windows 11 update in your update setting why you are not getting these updates i will tell you each and everything and i will also tell you if you are not getting these updates how you can upgrade so let me tell you why you're not getting these updates over the internet you will get all things like uh, your temporary files corrupted or your windows update service not working or maybe you are not in a right channel so all these things are bullshit nothing is related to these things okay because i recently did a clean install of windows 10 in my very supported and high-end pc but still i'm not getting windows 11 update in my windows 10 update setting then why these updates not coming to my system because microsoft do not push these updates to everyone at the same time it's only two months right so wait for at least six months then maybe you will get these updates so if you're not getting these updates i will tell you how you can get this update using windows setting right i will not use any kind of iso file and all that and let me tell you do not use Use Windows Assistant tool to upgrade to Windows 11 otherwise your pre-installed or your third-party app installed in your system that is going to remove right so in some systems that is uh, removing some pre-installed app so do not use Windows Assistant tool to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 okay so let's jump into the screen and I will show you how you can upgrade if Windows 11 update not showing in your Windows setting so let's go now you can see I'm using this Windows 10 and uh, let me check my PC health check app so you can understand and you can see less than one year old and uh, SSD and 32 GB RAM click on check now and uh, fully supported secure boot enabled TPM is enabled all things are working perfectly fine but still I'm not getting update let me show you go into settings go into update and security and now here you can see check for update okay so I'm not getting these Windows 11 update in my update section so what I will do so basically you just need a one Microsoft account and we are going to join this Windows Insider program and let me tell you if you join these Windows Insider programs you will get same update whatever the people normally get update whoever not join these Windows Insider program basically you need to choose the release preview channel so you will get same update as everyone get okay so no issue with that so just click on get started and just click on link a account and here you need to log in with your Microsoft account so basically you need to click on Microsoft account and click continue you need to enter your ID and password and that's it okay so I already have this account so I'm going to select this and click continue and now you will see here these three channels like date channel beta channel and release preview channel and I would suggest select this beta channel if you don't want the buggy update in your Windows 11 right and in this you will get Windows 11 update if you are using Windows 10 and there is no other way to get Windows 11 update from your Windows settings. This is the only way you can get. And using this process, your data will not remove. Okay, so don't worry about that. Click here, beta channel, click confirm. And now click confirm. So you can see one more step to go. And now just click on restart now. So now we have restarted our system. Go into settings and go into update and security. Go into Windows Insider program. We have selected this beta channel. And here you can see these Windows 11 builds will be more reliable than builds from the deep channel. Okay, so just click on this Windows update and click here check for update. And now you can see upgrade to Windows 11 and it's downloading. So this is a simple and sweet way to get a Windows 11 update in your Windows 10 system. I will go through the complete process so let it download or install and after installing this I will show you how it's working in my system and how it's look like and I will tell you one setting after upgrading. Basically you just need to turn that off and after that you will get a very huge change in your Windows 11 performance right. So here you can see this is my laptop. This machine is fully unsupported and I'm using Windows 11 in that next video will be on this like how it is working what is the performance level of this system so if you are new on this channel so I would suggest just hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever I upload that video about this laptop you will get to know about it
So guys, now we have upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 successfully without any kind of problem. Here you will see new start menu. If you are using Windows 10, you will feel very good, right? Because the complete UI experience is going to change for you. So in the starting of video, I told you, I will tell you one setting you need to turn off that your Windows 11 performance is going to next level. So okay, so let's do that setting. Just type here Windows security and click on it and go into this device security and click on this core icon isolation and you need to turn off this memory integrity so basically most of the users are saying i just increased my performance to 26 percent by just turning off this setting so if it is on in your case so you need to turn off this and just go into update section and click on check or update and update to latest version because microsoft fixed lots of issues which is causing some slowdowning of system performance so it is fixed now so you can see new start menu which is the pop in pop out any animation new search options you can see new desktop option you can add as many virtual desktop you want to add so click on this widget section and now you can see widgets is loading perfectly fine there is no issue in that so if you are facing any kind of problem related to widgets so you can follow my earlier videos i just told how you can fix that you can see microsoft team chat app so guys that's how you can upgrade to windows 11 if it is not showing in your update section so okay guys that's it for this video i hope you like this video so just hit the like button and do subscribe if you are new on this channel so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video